go ahead and get started. Um, you guys have the paper of the ingredients. Basically, the it's it's really basic. It's chicken breast. Um, I use you can make an eight by eight and use like a couple chicken breasts for an eight by eight pan or a 13 by nine, um, like four to five chicken breasts. And if you have an instant pot, it's super easy. If you just throw the chicken breast in there, dump a cup of water. And I add um, chicken bouillon cubes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know what those are. Well, these are beef ones, but I have chicken ones that are like, they look like this. It's like for soup mixes. And I usually throw that in with the water and it just adds a little bit more flavor to the chicken. And then you do a manual cook for 10 minutes and then a natural release for five and then they're done. And you can cook them frozen too. You don't have to thaw them in the Instant Pot. And then I use, um, some people shred their chicken with a fork. Um, I used to do that, but when it's like really hot, it sometimes is a pain. And so I actually found a method of using um, like hand mixers. So you just like what you would bake a cake with you just stick it in there and it literally shreds it like in an in instant, like in seconds. So you pull the chicken breasts out when they're done, um, you shred them, and then you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 just while you're doing everything. And then you have your giant can of whatever enchilada stuff, enchilada sauce you choose. Um, if I have homemade chili, like my green chili, um, I use that in here, but I don't always have that, so the canned stuff is fine. I usually take about a spoonful like this of the enchilada sauce and dump it into the shredded chicken. So that's like this. And you just, um, like mix it around again it adds flavor and it kind of just keeps it um, from drying out in the oven so you mix that I don't know if you can see can you see that yeah yeah and then depending on what you like so if you are a fan of onions which we are not um, you can dice up like the red or the white onions, um, small and dump them in here and mix it. And you would do that during this step. And then with that, you would also take your jalapenos or diced chilies, um, whichever you use. And I use the small can and I get hot just cause we like spicy stuff, but they have mild and, and things like that. And I just dump it. I usually dump about, for a 13 by nine pan, you're gonna use about half a can, maybe a little bit more. So like that much is left. And then you just mix it in with your chicken, just to kind of mix it all up. And then, like I said, you could throw onions in here. If you don't want to use meat, you can mix up different veggies um, to make. This is going to be your filling. And like I had said before, it's going to be more of like a lasagna. We're not going to be rolling uh, corn tortillas like regular enchiladas. And that's kind of what is nice and makes it fast is you don't have to mess with it and you still get all the flavoring and the, the layers of stuff. So I use a glass casserole dish. Um, you can use whatever pans you have. And then I've made this for so many years, I don't really measure anything. I just kind of know how it looks. Um, so first I put a little bit of the enchilada sauce in the bottom and just kind of move it around so that it coats the bottom. And this prevents your uh, corn tortillas from burning or sticking. Just get it. Just so that it's like that. And then 
I use these corn tortillas. Um, you can use whichever ones you like. I just like this brand. Um, they hold up really well. They don't get soggy. Um, some people like to use flour tortillas, but those tend to get a little bit soggy with all the cheese and the enchilada sauce and everything in it. So it's a preference. And you could always fill these and roll them up and stick them in the pan, but those are more traditional. So I just layer um, the bottom of this pan with corn tortillas, like you would, you know, lasagna noodles, basically. And then I pour a little bit more of the sauce over the tortillas. And then just kind of make sure that it's even. You want to get like the corners of the tortillas over here so that, again, you're keeping everything from burning or sticking or anything like that. And then you just grab your chicken that you've pre-mixed and you kind of just put it all over. Make sure you can use as much as little as you like. Some people like more tortilla flavor. Some people like more filling. Um, you can do multiple layers, which we'll do a couple layers. Um, it's really your taste preference on what you're going for, but that's about normal maybe a couple spoonfuls. And then you grab your shed, shredded cheese, maybe. Just kind of sprinkle it around. If you like it cheesier, you could add more. And then you would do another layer. So that's what each layer will look like. And obviously, if you have onions or, you know, anything else you want to add, it'll have more stuff in it. And then you add, again, your layer of tortillas. And you put your sauce. To smear it here. And you can even add some of the some more of the you know jalapenos or the diced peppers that you used in the beginning if you're wanting you know a little bit more flavor or heat. Like I said, we like everything hot and kind of make your nose run. <laughs> So my husband is worse than I am and adds like really hot jalapenos um, after. And so I don't know how he even tastes any of it, but we're just gonna layer. So you can do another row after this if you want. What I do is typically leave the two layers and then I top the, add a final top of tortilla like this. And then I just make sure to really coat this last layer and make sure um, it gets like in the sides. And you're probably not gonna, unless you do multiple layers. You're, you're not going to quite use all of the sauce in here. There's about that much left where it's like right here. About right there. But if you like it to be, you know, a little bit saucy. Saucy, yeah. Don't like to use the word moist, so <laughs> avoiding that. Um, and then, soccer. yeah, I have uh, my mom's dog, Sadie, praying I drop something. Um, and then I just add a little bit of chicken to the top. You can add olives to the top. 
You can add, you know, more peppers, jalapenos. I don't put quite as much chicken as like in the layers because it's really just the topping. And then this is the one you want to really cover in cheese. This is going to get nice and kind of golden brown and crispy. And it just has a really good texture. You cover it. And so it looks like this, which is super easy and basic. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. You're not gonna cover it. You're not gonna put foil or anything. And it takes about 30 minutes. Um, you'll know because it'll be bubbling up and then the cheese will have like a real light golden color to it. It'll be totally melted and kind of bubbly. And then I pull that out and I let it sit for a minute just to, because it's real hot. But when you cut it, you're gonna cut it like lasagna. You cut squares out of it. So you take a knife and cut it down and then use a spatula and it'll be a layered um, like lasagna, but enchiladas. And then you can add sour cream, um, jalapenos, olives, and we usually make it with beans or rice, like refried beans, or have chips and salsa. And that's it. It's really that simple. Dogs, move. And so I'll put this in. And I brought this to a lot of the, um, a lot of the potlucks and things like that. I think a lot of you have tried these. Um, it's so easy, like they're really fast, which is why I like them because before Tanner was driving, like we'd have to come home, go to the gym a sec the second we got home and we didn't have a lot of time for dinner and it makes a good portion and it lasts. So it's really nice for lunches and, and things like that. And you can really add whatever to it. You know, you can add a bunch of veggies if you like that or different kinds of cheeses like pepper jack and even mozzarella with this, with the cheddar cheese is really good. Um, sometimes we don't have enough cheddar, but we have like cheese of another kind and we'll blend it and that's fine. Um, and then we use hot sauce on top of it. So we have a Mikayo's um, sauce that we put on top of it when we eat it, but that's basically it. Told you guys, it's super simple. Oh, I'm excited. It's delicious. <laughs> and it's so much easier than having to roll them. I mean, really, yeah. enchiladas are really good, but they're kind of time consuming when you do them the other way and you have breakage and things are just, this is so much easier. <laughs> yeah, not you getting your hands as messy either. No, it's it's not a lot of mess. It's like one bowl and a casserole dish. Yep. That's it. Everything else is can or whatever you use. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Jenny. You're welcome. Thank you, Jenny. Do you I guys, like I'll take a picture it. when it's done. I'll take a picture and, and send it out so you can see kind of what done looks like. Um, to pull it, but it's about a half hour. If you get the chicken right out of the Instant Pot or whatever you cooked it and the chicken's still really hot, um, it's a little bit less time because really you're just heating up then the cheese and the sauce, which doesn't take long. That makes sense. Oh. All right. Does it, do any of you guys have something that you want to cook or teach us or it could be a dessert, it could be a meal. We're trying to, we want to put everything together and get everybody like a cookbook. If you do, you don't have to be on the spot right now, but think about it. If you do, <laughs> shoot me an email and we can arrange the same sort of thing like Jana did and I've done. And if not, then we'll just come up with a dessert or something to make next. Sounds good. Okay. And if you guys have any desserts that I had done for treats, let me know and I could maybe do that or something. I really like that eclair cake thing you make. That thing is delicious. Yeah. On that one. With the cream puffs on the bottom. Yeah. And... Okay. I was wondering if people might want to do that. Yeah. That one's delicious. That's delicious. Maybe you guys we'll tell have I haven't to had anything one. to eat today. Everything I know. Is so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Everybody's hungry. <laughs> 
Rachel, I see your little snowball dog right there. I want to see it. What? He just got a, he just got a haircut. Oh my gosh. Aww, <laughs> Did you so cut his hair too? Him. No, he won't let me cut his hair. But oh, he's so cute. Aww. It was bad. He couldn't even oh, see. So cool. He had so much fur <laughs> in his eyes and not good. Oh, he's so cute. He's adorable. He's cold now, though, so he just shivers all the time and just wants to be really close. Oh, so I can't blame him. I still have a blanket wrapped around me, even at home. Yeah. So Right. <laughs> True Thanks. story. All right, guys. Well, I will end the recording, and we'll see you guys on time. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good to everyone. Bye. Bye.